Hey guys, so we're back to Emacs and we're going to keep on with the series. So right now we're going to be dealing with Helm essentially and I'm going to talk about it at length. Uh, the reason why the second episode is going to be about uh, Helm is because it's just so great of a package, I believe that it should be part of the vanilla Emacs experience in my opinion. So really it's a, uh, it's a really fancy package and it seems really simple at first, but once you get to it, it gives you a lot of functionality for free. And I got to the point where I take it for granted, you know, there are some things that I, uh, that I thought were regular Emacs behavior, but they were actually kind of Helm behavior. So it's a very nice package, it's very transparent in the sense that once it's set up correctly, you don't even realize it's there, you just use it naturally and it becomes a part of your workflow. So in order to get to it, uh, what is Helm? Well, Helm is essentially a, 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 general, a general interface for kind of fuzzy matching and for applying actions to kind of matching entries in a list. So it takes a list and then it prints it out and it lets you fuzzy search things inside it. And uh, what's nice about uh, Helm is that this 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 list is gen generic enough that you can essentially apply to anything. So everything that can be listed as a list is going to be uh, compatible with Helm and you can use several different actions that depend on context. And in order to show you this, so let's say that I want uh, to execute an Emacs command. I already told you that this is the MX command. So in fact, there is an MX version of uh, an MX uh, kind of a, a Helm version of the MX command. So if I type in meta X, in fact, this is the version of Helm which we call this the Helmized uh, version of uh, MX. And you can see that instead of just giving me a prompt down here where I can type in kind of my command, I get a list of all the possible commands. So this is already pretty useful because if you're learning Emacs, you can use this kind of as a guideline. You can write in parts of a command if you don't remember the full name. And uh, then it's going to not only kind of list the command here, but it's also going to give you the key binding for it. So if it has any. And it remembers kind of your commands history. It prints it out here, but it also shows you the list. And you can move inside this little buffer by pressing Control N and Control P. So Control N for next line, Control P, P for previous line. And this is the default Emacs behavior essentially. You can also use the arrow keys, but really no one uses the arrow keys. So that's one thing. You can fuzzy match, as I was saying. So if I want to look for all the commands that begin with the word evil, for example, if I'm trying to learn evil mode, I want to see some of the commands that are possible. I can just type in evil and now I'm fuzzy matching to all of those different commands. And I can execute them normally by pressing enter. Notice that uh, I call the evil ex command, so I'm down here in emacs in ex mode for for evil. And really, this interface this interface is uh, very generic, and it and it doesn't change from one from one helmized command to another. So you always have the same behavior. And if I want to look for files, there is also the helmized command that looks for files. If I press Control X, Control F. I have a directory listing, so this is my current directory, and then I can choose between the different files. I can also move between folders. So in order to get inside this folder, for example, the eShell one, I can either press Control J to go down, or I can just press uh, Enter, and then I can go back up by pressing Control L. So uh, this is kind of the presentation. Again, one last thing that's nice that you can do with Helm is that you can press tab on any one of those and then you have context specific kind of actions that you can execute. So in the in this case, I'm in the context of meta X. So I'm executing commands. I have actions that I can, for example, execute commands, but I can also describe them. So describe is the word that Emacs uses for the manual essentially. So if I describe a function, if I describe a command, I get the, kind of the manual for it. So look, notice that the this is the kind of the manual for, ca for calc which is the Emacs built-in calculator. I can even visit the source code if I want by clicking here or by pressing enter on top of the word. This essentially is the presentation for, for Helm and now to configuration. So if I go to my config file, which is my init.org, I have a little section open for Helm. So in order to install it, you just install it by using your regular package manager. In this case, again, we're using use package. So use package Helm. You do need to have Melpa in, uh, as a repository in order to use it. We've shown how to do this on the last video. And then you can also require Helm config, which essentially kind of initializes the configuration for Helm. 
then you can change the behavior by looking by changing some of the va variables in this case the these two are the ones that i chose so split window inside is essentially kind of it it is set in such a way that is that it's going to uh, treat helm as a mini buffer rather than a window on the side essentially and this is is good because it kind of is not so heavy in terms of screen real estate another thing that's useful is this one little variable which is helm move to line cycle in source and it looks complicated but all that it does is it allows you to wrap around the buffer in fact so if i type in something and then i try to go past kind of the top here i'm going to wrap around to the bottom and if i go to the bottom and try to go to the next, I'm going to wrap around all the way to the top. So this is just what that does. And then another useful thing to have is the Helm mode one. And this is what kind of enables Helm for most of your Emacs. So essentially Emacs has kind of two big Lisp functions that are called when you get to the buffer for searching stuff. And essentially Helm replaces those two functions with its own versions of those functions so that most of the prompts in your Emacs are going to become Helm enabled and they're going to have all of those nice properties that we saw. And then you get some specific commands out of it. So the Helmize commands are, for example, Helm buffers list. So this is essentially the buffer listing that you had on either Vim or in Emacs. So I have all my open buffers. I can move between them again by using the control and control P. And then I can fuzzy find one. Let's say that I want to get to index. I can also apply a action to it. So as an example, I can rename the buffer which is called index.org i'm going to rename it to index.org to whatever and now it has a different name this does not change this does not rename the file but it but it renames the buffer essentially which is how emacs sees it so that's one thing and uh, then if we go ahead so there are two ways to set the key so this is kind of the regular lisp expression to setting a key before we say anything else you can use the global set key and then the keyboard essentially function is going to translate this into a format that the global set key function can read. So if you don't know anything about Lisp, you just know that this first thing is a function and then it takes these two things as kind of arguments. So the first argument is a key map and this is how you define a key map in uh, Emacs Lisp. And then this kind of quotation and they, then this is the name of a command. So this is going to bind this keyboard shortcut, which is control X and then B to the function Helm buffers list. And if you want to, re, uh, to rebind evil EX key binding, so the key bindings that appear down here, for example, under the EX command, you can use this kind of little function, which is the find key evil EX key map. And then you give it kind of a, 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 a uh, a few letters of the command. So for example, if I type in B, I get kind of that same Helm buffers list. So these are the two ways, I think the Emacs way and the Vim way of showing your buffers. Another, another useful feature is that book is that the uh, Helm allows bookmarks. So if I press control X R B in my configuration, uh, I have one bookmark setup, which is my configuration file. But if you type in something that's different from what already exists, you can essentially enter a new bookmark. So if I open, let's say the init.l, which is the elist version of my org file, I can press Control X R B, and then I can type in a new name. So elisp elisp uh, config. And now if I go back to that buffer, I now have the option of going between these two. So this goes to my configuration file. This going to the elisp version. Uh, again, I I, I, cho I told you how to use the Control X, Control F, so to search uh, for files. This is what it looks like. And another useful feature of uh, of Helm is that you can mark stuff. In fact, so if I press Control Space on top of a file, I can mark it. And if I apply a, an action to it later, I'm going to apply the action to all of the files that I selected. So I can give. Uh, so I can, for example, calculate the checksum of both of those files. I do need to check uh, to choose a regular file. So I'll choose this one and then I can apply kind of the checksum. And you can uh, select the algorithm again or just pick MD5, doesn't matter. And now it copies it to my key ring. So the key ring is kind of the clipboard again for Emacs. Whenever you delete thing on Emacs, you don't delete them, you call this killing. 
and uh, I can press meta Y in order to use the helmized version of my kill ring. So this essentially shows all the different stacks of things that you killed in the past, and then it lets you choose them, them either by fuzzy finding. Again, I can start typing in evil in order to get to kind of that uh, third item, or I can just choose them by Control N, Control P. And then when I select one of them, I essentially paste it back on the document. This is what I define here. I showed you how Meta X works. So this is very useful for learning packages because packages in Emacs, they usually offer functions that start with the name of the package. So if I want to see all the functions that Helm offers, I just type in Helm and then I see kind of a list of all of them. And I can apply actions in order to describe those functions if I want to know what they mean, if I'm learning, etc. Uh, two other useful things that uh, Helm uh, gives. It gives you kind of an interface to, cal to calc. And calc is kind of the calculator that's built in for Emacs. So just uh, to show you, if I press meta C, I can start typing. Instead of typing a pattern, I type in an operation. So 2 times 4 is equal to 8 plus 999, I don't know. So that's a very simple calculator. Again, if you have a quick calculation that you need doing, and then once that is done, you can copy the result to your curing if you want to paste this on your document, maybe. And uh, one last thing is the occur. So occur is essentially kind of what does interactive uh, searching. And uh, if you use evil mode, you obviously have the kind of forward slash that you can use to search. So I'm using the forward slash typing in evil and I get all the entries that have evil in them, for example. But uh, Emacs also offers what is called iSearch and iSearch essentially kind of uh, does the same thing, essentially. Uh, but what, I, what you can also do is you can use Helm Occur, which essentially lists the occurrences of a keyword in your kind of in your buffer. And it also supports regular expressions. So if you want to use regular expressions to search for stuff inside of a buffer, you can use this. If I press Control S and notice that it feeds the the word that is under my cursor to the to this kind of uh, to this kind of pattern. But if I want, I can start typing something else. So I can, for example, uh, type in menu, and then I get all the entries that have menu in them. So this is pretty much it. Again, if you have any questions regarding Helm, I think that I listed most some of the most interesting kind of uh, features of it. And if you have any questions, you can just post them on the comments again. This, all, all of this configuration is posted there on, your, on my GitHub account, so you can always uh, check that out. And uh, this is pretty much it. So thank you very much, guys. I'll see you next time.